Hepatitis C is a virus that progressively damages the liver, leading to scarring, cirrhosis, liver cancer, or even death. It's often considered a disease of the baby boomer generation because hepatitis C affects one in five senior citizens. But recently, hepatitis C has also become a threat to an unexpected and especially vulnerable population, pregnant women and their unborn children. How did this happen? In part, it's because of America's opioid abuse epidemic. Increased use of heroin has caused a resurgence of hepatitis C, which can be transmitted by sharing needles. Heroin users who contract hepatitis C can spread the disease to spouses, partners, or household contacts. Women who contract the disease before or while they are pregnant experience double the impact. In addition to battling the condition themselves, they may also infect their unborn baby. Cures for hepatitis C are available now, but they have not been proven safe for pregnant women. It is possible to prevent mothers from transmitting hepatitis C to their babies. We must first identify women of childbearing age who have hepatitis C and cure them before they become pregnant. But that's no simple task. Several barriers can stand in the way. To reduce expenses, some health plans and state Medicaid systems require a multi-step approval process. It can include medical tests and extensive paperwork. Others require that hepatitis C cures be prescribed by a medical specialist, making access difficult for patients who may not live near one or may need to wait for an appointment. Even worse, Many health plans and state Medicaid systems provide coverage only for patients who have advanced liver damage. There is no FDA-approved treatment for hepatitis C in newborns. Therefore, if infected women are not cured before becoming mothers, their babies may contract the disease. Policymakers should adjust their coverage rules to better protect women and their unborn babies before it's too late.